going for another walk, second today. Improving my digestive process, if you will, after having uh, having some food. It was uh, stuffed cabbage. Uh, it, it was left over for, for a while ago. I, I thought it uh, thought it, I thought it'd be better. <laughs> I thought it. I, I defrosted it yesterday. I have it in the fridge, and I uh, just threw it in a pan. Uh, it's like you know, it, it just uh, yeah. I was just thinking about you know about like people that say you know I'm from New York. I'm from New York. It's like what does that give to you, man? Like you know. These people live under a delusion. A delusion is like a, a you know, they, they live under a cloak of fake reality. You know, I get it, it's a, a lure of the city. Why right? that gives them muscles and they think they're tough because they, they grew up in a city area. You know, and then they're like, you know, and there's people that don't even live in New York that say that. It's like, what does that have to do? Because you uh, uh, you live over a bridge, you live different zip code, and because you have uh, tall buildings, you know? And I was in New York, lived in there. In Brooklyn for like two, three months, I stayed in my car and I got pushed around by these people from Starbucks. You know, there's this girl called the cops on me. Then she threatened me. She said, I'm gonna fuck you up. And then she called the cops like the next day. And like some time went by and I went in there just to get a coffee. And these two young black guys were there. They had these skinny little fucking legs and shit. Tiny little, tiny little people and shit with, with like, you know, expensive clothing. And you know, they started staring at me and like, you know, I started laughing. Next thing you know, the police came and, you know, they, they didn't do anything. But uh, the, the black cop, which was irrelevant, said, you're not allowed to come to Starbucks, this and the other thing. That was the second time, you know. The first time was these two white cops. And they just, actually, no, that time they walked, the two white cops, they walked over to those guys. And they just said, oh, you called or something? I, I, I stood outside, they told me we were outside. Five seconds they came out. I was like, well, did you do an investigation? You're asking what, what's going on? They said, no, we talked to them, this and the other. They were lying too, you know. I don't know if there's something, you know, with Starbucks as a whole. You know, it's also that mermaid thing, you know? Uh, there is a guy named Merman, you know, he's on the he's on a, a video chat site, you know? It, it's like a, the, a mermaid or a merman, or Nixies also used to call him. Nixies would, you know, haunt, it's a, like a mythological creature, but it, it's intertwined with the human species, and supposedly like, they, they lure you in the water, they want to drown you. It is very much a, you know, a, for lack of a better word, diabolical, you know, creature. It's very inhumane. You know, Starbucks puts that on their forefront. And if you look at the, the mermaid, she has two two tails. You know, it's it's a mutant only of even that. It is like a, a, a mutant sea creature uh, mixed with, with humans and stuff like that. And, you know, the tails, early days, I think they were, they would like haunt the, the uh, uh, Horn ships and then we'll uh, introduce them to shipwrecks. Or when the ship would happen, you know, they would swim out. I mean, it's just very indicative of what that happened. It's very disturbing. And, you know, a lot of times I had uh, multiple implications well, in Starbucks. And, you know, those two little fucking juvenile kids with their skinny legs, hey, just a puny little fucking kid. Like, you know, you know, they let the police department do their, you could have said to me, say, hey, this, this, and it happened, nothing like that. You know, puny little fucking people and shit. You know, it's like they, it's not that they lure me in and stuff like that, but they're probably trying to lure me in a lot of danger. You know, that's that little Starbucks, you know, thing they got going over there. It just, you know, it, it's always like, <clears throat> it's always from my experience, it, it's always the, the minuscule, puny little people, they do the most damage, you know? They won't, you know, there's conflict, they won't uh, argue with you, they won't talk to you, this and the other thing. But they'll like, you know, they'll call the police, they'll lie about you, so you get set up and hurt for something, you know? Just like, you know, I, I don't care about that place, that Brooklyn, uh, and in another place in my hand, uh, actually it was close to my hand, this, this guy did the same thing. Multiple places in my hand, Starbucks, you know, go in there, sit for coffee, and the workers just slam everything. Like they wanted you to leave, you know? They were trying to like, you know, mentally distraught you and stuff like that. One place I said something, the guy, he said he was going you know, to gonna cause people, he's going to, like, you know, he's going to, you know, like, fuck me up. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I'm like, what are you talking about, man? You're, like, you're making a lot of fucking noise. I, I'm paid for my coffee, man. You know? He probably was going to call the cops, too, and shit. Like a fucking idiot. And, like, to rescue people that like, you don't want to hear this shit, like, listen, like, fucking stop. I don't read my thoughts or some shit. Don't. Do you watch my YouTube? You don't want to see this shit? Well, I'm gonna live for fucking you. I'm gonna have thoughts for you and shit. 
I'm gonna jump around a trampoline and wave to you so you can fucking what? Be happy or some shit, idiot? Who the fuck gives you the fucking right to control my fucking mind? Like those two fucking idiots over there and that fucking idiot chick from Starbucks and shit in Brooklyn. Guys, I'll be on fucking the eye. You puny little fucking people, man. You're not gonna let it fuck with my head and shit. You're not gonna fuck with my life. I used to call Starbucks gutter bugs. It was just a gutter. Like the employees would come in and throw napkins in the bathroom. Absolutely disastrous. They would never clean the bathroom. It was disgusting. They would have a cold for the bathroom and the, you know, it's like um, the customers would stand there and it was a line. It was just like a degrading, like, you know, uh, you know, for lack of a better word, it's like, you know, uh, people say the sticks or rural area, you know, like an outhouse over there. That's your little fucking, you know, the urbanized fucking Brooklyn, New York. You go in the subway, those feces, people urinating, rats running running everywhere. And it's like, you're going to be proud of that? Well, I mean, you know, probably, you know, you're probably into that. No resolution how to fix it, how, you know, how to how to, how to make, uh, you know, MTA successful. I mean, they're like, you know, billions and billions of dollars or, or millions of dollars, whatever, you know, in debt. It's like, well, what are you so fucking proud of over there, man? But just like, you know, I get it, that's, you know, you go in my hand, there's big buildings, restaurants, you know, but it's like, I'm not going to fucking, you know, I'm not going to fucking like, worship or respect because like what? You fucking live there or something or you, you, you're from there? It's like, well, so what? Where's your brain at, huh? Where's your conscience at? Where's your fucking strength at? Where's your fucking mentality? Why don't you fix your fucking ghetto ass New York, bro? Creepy fucking mayor over there fucking getting chased around by fucking, you know, the law like you saying shit. And that's just minuscule shit. Pretty sure he had a lot of dirt on his fingernails. He did a lot of dirty deeds. You guys don't look fucking tough. You're not that fucking intelligent either, man. You just got, you know, expensive fucking clothing and shit. It's like a puny little fucking arrogant idiot over there who thinks, you know, you could call the police department or somebody because, you know, you got your feelings hurt or some shit. Or your friends will tell, listen, there's 20, 30 of you it's like 8, 9 in the morning, man. Go to fucking school. And I ain't fucking what? Call the law on me, bro? Like you idiots say? Or your little retard girlfriend over there? And it's like, you know, your, your, your delusional fucking self, you know? You live in a big city. It's like what? It's like fucking what? Fucking Superman, some of you and shit? <laughs> some of you like worship superheroes like you fucking are the superhero, man. You need to come back to fucking reality, man. The world doesn't revolve around you and your fucking mind and perception. Because a lot of times your perception is wrong and obscured. And, you know, you don't contribute a lot to society. Especially to fucking New York.